way to do it on his sponsor night. Stephen Rhodes, the youngster from Rosewood, North Carolina, is on the pole. Going from the outside of the front row, Steve Mendenhoff, the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Runner-up in the point standing so far this season. As a matter of fact, runner-up at the final point standings for a year ago, Tony Grady, the Mystic Images Thoroughbred Chevy. Southern Piping Company Chevrolet, Jamie Caldwell of Four Oaks will go from the outside of the second row in the blue and white 50 car. Then the four car, the defending series champion, Big Jim Kelly out of Newport. Tom Elliott out of Emporia, Virginia in the 77. Series points leader Billy Ray Lucas in the zero car. The green flag goes in the air. Stephen Rhodes will win the race into turns one and two. Then quickly they start beating and banging from second on back. Tony Grady in the one. Steve Mendenhall, the 18. Uh, Jamie Carl rather in the 50 car we'll get the rest of the lineup to you in just a moment great racing here lap number one complete 75 makes up the distance for these late model stock cars tonight finishing the run down the zero the green car is Billy Ray Lucas he is your points leader coming into tonight Jack Bailey out of Virginia will go from the outside lane there in the red and white 52 car it's a Ford Taurus in the 83 Another outstanding rookie, Ryan Rhodes out of Sanford, the lead brick Chevrolet. W.T. Kern out of Chesterfield, Virginia. Mobile One Ford Taurus. Scott Wise, another great rookie in the 27 car. And David Warren out of Goldsboro, the Eastern Air Conditioning Warren Supply Goldsboro Flea Market Chevrolet. So we watch the race leader, Stephen Rhodes. McCoy Contracting 200 here on Pac-10 TV. And McCoy Contracting on board with Stephen Rhodes this season. This young man has opened up a gap already between himself and the battle for second on back. It's great racing here. Here's Ryan Rhodes in the 83 car. The 52 is Jack Bailey. Rhodes' Chevy goes up underneath the Ford Taurus. Uh, Bailey, another Ford right behind Rhodes. It was W.T. Kerr. We watch for the moment second on back. Mendenhall has it. Now this is third, fourth, fifth, and sixth on the screen. Jamie Caudill. In the blue and white SPC car, here's contact further back. Jim Kelly makes contact with Tony Grady. Grady does an outstanding job saving that race car. Everybody hangs on, keeps them pointed the direction they need to be pointed in. So we watch series point leader Billy Ray Lucas in the green car. Everybody beginning to settle down just a bit now as we watch Tony Grady car. A little smoke coming out of the pipe as he Let's out of the gas, headed into the corners. Doesn't seem to be affecting the race car's speed at all. But Stephen Rhodes is gone, shot out of a cannon from the pole position. His first career pole in the NASCAR late model stocks. He's opened up a good uh, two second advantage. Steve Mendenhall, your second place runner. Watching big Jim Kelly in the four, Billy Ray Lucas in the zero. Yellow and black cars, Tom Elliott got a glimpse of him. Meanwhile, this is for third. The SPC Chevy, of course, Jamie Caudle, Tony Grady in the one car. Jamie Caudle there in the 50 car. It's unusual for Caudle. He's uh, competing in his seventh race of the year here at Southern National. This is round number 12 tonight for the late model stock cars. Caldwell has been in uh, seven now. Oh, here's contact. Tony Grady and Jamie Caldwell making some contact. Both will be able to continue on. Good hard racing here. Here's Jim Kelly and Billy Ray. Lucas making contact with Jim Kelly. Cars beating and banging all over the track. Lucas will go to the inside of Big Jim Kelly. That leaves the inside open for Tom Elliott. He, too, will go up underneath Kelly as they race the back stretch. Still side by side. Kelly will drive it in deeper than Tom Elliott does. And now Jim Kelly able to withstand the challenge from Tom Elliott. Meanwhile, the battle for third heats up again. Tony Grady in car number one going up underneath the 50 of Jamie Caudle. Tries to get a fender alongside. He'll be able to do so. Thought we were getting ready to pass along to you. Jamie Caudle competing in his seventh race. He's been on the pole every time he's been to the track except for tonight. Interesting statistic, called on six races on the pole six times. Who, uh, has two wins to his credit this season. He runs all throughout the southeastern part of the United States. So Jamie Caudill will yield the third position to Tony Grady, who's rallied his way up. Here comes Billy Ray Lucas. Grady has one pole to his credit this season. 
Matter of fact, he's got a couple of wins, two second place finishes and two third place finishes. Solid season to this point through 11 races. For Tony Grady has him second in the points chase. The man you see on your screen there, Billy Ray Lucas in the Parker's Barbecue Chevy there, the bright green zero car. Has one win, three seconds and four thirds. Finish in the top 10, 10 times in 11 races. Billy Ray Lucas is the points leader coming into tonight. You certainly see why with those types of numbers. Hasn't been on the pole this season yet, but that doesn't mean everything. Racing further back, a couple of four Taurus is doing battle. The Mobile One black car, W.T. Kerr getting by the Jack Bailey car. Both of those drivers from Virginia. Ryan Rhodes stacks up just behind them. He's out of Sanford, North Carolina. As you watch Scott Wise, the Agricom House Autry Mills car. Very loose in turns one and two. Scott Wise uh, making the move up from the super stock class here at Southern National to these late model stock cars. Oh, car up against the outside wall between turns one and two. Scott Wise. We just had a camera on him. And he comes to rest up between turns one and two. His car is not fired. 75 make up the distance. Stephen Rhodes is the man up front. WP Rose Supply, McCoy Contracting, Chevrolet. Put it on the pole for the first time in his young career here in the late model stocks. Working up off turn four. Green flag goes back in the air from Charlie Rizzo and we're racing once more. Rhodes leads the parade into turns one and two. Mendenhall behind him. Then Tony Grady, Billy Ray Lucas. Going back to the fifth position, Jamie Caudle. Big Jim Kelly is sixth. Tom Elliott, seventh. W.T. Kurt is eighth. All single file for the moment. Stephen Rhodes had a huge advantage when the first caution came out. And again, it looks like he's putting some distance between himself and the second place runner. Not taking long for... Stephen Rhodes to get his advantage back. It's already opened up to a couple of car links. Things getting racy now for the second position as you watch Mendenhall, the 18, who is second. The third place car, the one of Tony Grady. Grady putting pressure on the back bumper of the Black Pontiac Grand Prix. Staying that way down the back chute into turns three and four. front stretch and back to the front of the field you see Stephen Rhodes just off the picture to the left side the race leader has opened up a good four to five more car length advantage that car certainly hooked up tonight Stephen Rhodes using his talents here's great racing still for the second position Mendenhall the 18 Tony Grady the one they make contact in turns one and two Grady gets up, on, up, up underneath Steve Mendenhall. Can't find the uh, horses under the hood that he needs. As we get a car sideways just in front of the race leader. David Warren spins. And we're under caution for the second time right in front of Stephen Rhodes, the race leader. That Welcome back to Southern National Speedway here on Pac-10 TV, the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series. Stephen Rhodes has been up front all 37 laps to this point. Two cautions have slowed this race of 75 laps in length. Scott Wise spun to bring us to our first caution. And David Warren spun just a few moments ago to bring us to caution flag number two of the year. Best finish of second place. That came a handful of weeks ago. Matter of fact, his only top three finish. He's got three top fives and eight top tens in eight races, does Stephen Rhodes, as we watch the battle for second again. This time, Grady gets up underneath Mendenhall. Door handle and door handle into turn three. Grady in the one, Mendenhall the 18. Just behind him, the zero, Billy Ray Lucas. Still smoke coming out of the head pipes of Tony Grady. Caution on the speedway. Scott Wise has spun his machine around up off turn number four. Jamie Caudill will be in the fifth position. Green flag back in the air. Stephen Rhodes jumps on the gas. As they race up off turn number four, back to the start finish line. Rhodes back down to the inside of turns one and two. Then there's Mendenhall. Brady still runs third. Points leader Lucas fourth. Everybody single file for the moment. Field up off turn four. Back to start finish. Battle for second begins to 
heat up once more. Stephen Rhodes again gets away from the rest of the field. Grady working the back bumper of Steve Mendenhall. Takes a peek to the inside up off turn four. No room to make the pass. They'll stay single file back into turns one and two. Again, Mendenhall washes up the banking just a touch. Meanwhile, this is the battle for the fourth spot is on. Car number four, Big Jim Kelly. The 50, Jamie Connell. They'll make slight contact. Awful lot of beating and banging going on in this race. Throughout the front of the field. Nobody's close enough to touch Stephen Rhodes. Therefore, he's in pretty good shape. But everybody else has been... Uh, pinballing each other pretty good throughout the first half of this race. The contact up off the fourth corner. Caldo washes up the banking, opens up the inside lane for Kelly, who's tail end of his race car slides just a bit. He'll have to regroup. Here comes Tom Elliott. He sticks the nose of his ST Wooten Corporation Chevrolet down to the inside of Kelly. Everybody nodded together. W.T. Kurt is also in this quartet of cars. Kenny Smith, I should say, has never won his engine. He's never won a late model stock race. Trying to do that for the first time in his illustrious career as the battle for second is on again. Here comes Tony Grady to the inside. Steve Mendenhall, door handle to door handle. Up off turn four. Mendenhall keeps her wound up on the outside lane. He'll hang on to the spot for the moment. Again, working the outside lane is Grady keeps her down low. Grady in the Chevrolet. Car number one, Mendenhall, the Pontiac Grand Prix, car number 18. And again, Mendenhall able to fend off the challenge. Billy Ray Lucas continues to ride in the fourth position with nowhere to go as these two stay stacked up side by side. second position. Billy Ray Lucas now stacks up behind Mendenhall. That fight for third will begin. Lucas up underneath of Mendenhall. However, Steve Mendenhall able to hang on to the position. This is letting leader Stephen Rhodes get away by a long way. Here again comes Billy Ray Lucas down up underneath the 18 of Steve Mendenhall. Lucas, your serious points leader. He has opened up a whale of a margin on Tony Grady. Battle for third continues to be a dandy. The zero, Billy Ray Lucas getting up underneath the 18 of Steve Mendenhall. And Mendenhall will fall back to the fourth position. Lucas goes to third. Mendenhall falls to fourth.
again, a wiggle out of Tom Elliott's car. So we pick up the race leader, Stephen Rhodes, up off turn number four. To the stripe, just a handful of laps remaining. He has gotten around David Warren, who's fallen two laps down. Tony Grady still running second. Three quarters of a straightaway behind Stephen Rhodes. Meanwhile, again, Tom Elliott up underneath of Jamie Connell. This time, Elliott will take over the fifth position. Tom Elliott goes to fifth. Jamie Connell slips to the sixth spot. Big Jim Kelly runs seventh. Tom Elliott running out of laps, however. Stephen Rhodes into turn three. Down to the inside lane. Watch the car wash up to the middle, grooving up off of turn four. Welcome to the Winners Club at Southern National Speedway, the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series. Stephen Rhodes has gone to victory lane. And we certainly don't think this will be the only win Stephen Rhodes will have either. You're going to hear a lot from this young man in the coming races. Horse donuts for Stephen Rhodes. And our congratulations to him. We'll be back with Victory Lane. 